Thank you, Chair. Um, on behalf of ALDE, I'm very glad we're, we're having this debate. We requested it because we welcome the roadmap that was presented by the European Commission for restoring a fully functioning Schengen system. However, uh, in practice, we don't see much progress. We see more rather than less border controls. Um, we see walls being pulled up, not broken down. And we even a couple of days ago heard about a violent incident on the border of one of the Schengen countries with refugees being shot at. So the situation is actually getting worse, not better. And maybe Schengen is not dead yet, but it's certainly on life support. So um, what I would like to know from the European Commission is uh, how strictly are you applying the criteria? Because you keep saying it has to be necessary and proportionate, but that seems to become a little bit uh, a mantra because we don't see border controls disappearing. I don't see any steps uh, in the direction of uh, abolishing them. And um, we seem to think that it's a kind of replacement for a fully-fledged refugee and security policy or a replacement for uh, a European border and coast guard. But this is in the hands of the member states. The member states should take their responsibility and no longer hesitate about a common asylum policy, a common security policy and a border and coast guard rather than uh, reinstating border controls. And I think it has been said by, by others... Um, Schengen is a great achievement, and the current border controls come at a huge economic cost. So we have every interest in abolishing the border controls as quickly as possible. And I would really like to, to know from the European Commission, how do you assess the, the recurrent requests from the member states for authorising uh, uh, border checks because quite frankly I haven't seen many cases where the Commission has said sorry this is simply not justified when we say it has to be exceptional and temporary we're talking about I believe six Schengen countries now or, or, or eight uh, for a very extended period of time that doesn't sound like exceptional and temporary I understand and I'm concluding chair that you're under a lot of pressure from the member states who want the commission to actually you know clean up the mess left by the member states but I really hope that you will resist the pressures thank you